Hi everyone and welcome back to The Chronic Corner. This episode is all about debunking the top five biggest myths about POTS or postural orthostatic tachycardia syndrome. So let's waste no time and get right into it. Myth number one, people with POTS only experience symptoms while standing. Now this is not the case. Um, we can experience symptoms when we're laying down, sitting, standing, walking, it doesn't matter whether we're moving or not. Um, sometimes we have symptoms and sometimes we don't. We can be sitting up and feeling fine one minute and then the next we can be feeling really sick and need to lie down and still feel sick. <laughs> um, it really doesn't matter if you're standing or not. Myth number two, everyone with POTS faints. Uh, this is a very common misconception. I have had POTS for about 11 years now and I actually have never fainted. People who faint have something called syncope, which is an orthostatic intolerance where people pass out very frequently. It could be multiple times a month or multiple times a day. Um, it varies a lot. I have something called presyncope, which is where people start to pass out. It's like a prolonged passing out, but you never completely black out or go out. Um, and I'll experience this usually from standing too long or getting overheated or something, but I've actually never passed out. Myth number three, people with POTS are always experiencing symptoms. I have good days and bad days, as does everyone with POTS. Some days you have very little to no symptoms and some days you have a huge flare up and feel awful and have every symptom um, in the book. Now, a lot of people, again, are feeling fine one minute and not the next, which is one of the frustrating things with POTS is that you're feeling fine, let's say at one o'clock, and by 2 p.m. you feel really sick and have to go lay down. So symptoms come and go as they please, and they are very random. <laughs> Myth number four is that most doctors are competent enough to treat POTS. Now, POTS is very little known. Um, it's more well known than it was about 10 years ago. However, a lot of medical professionals still don't know very much about it which is one of the many reasons that Dinet was created, was to create as much awareness for people with dysautonomia as possible. So a lot of times POTS patients feel like they end up educating medical professionals and their doctors instead of the other way around, which is very frustrating. Um, now this isn't the case, of course, with a POTS specialist or a dysautonomia specialist, but a lot of medical professionals don't even know what POTS is, let alone how to treat it. And lastly, myth number five, um, POTS is a result of being lazy and deconditioning. Now this is a tough one to swallow. <laughs> um, definitely as someone who's had this a long time, I was diagnosed with POTS when I was very active. Um, I started experiencing symptoms very slowly. You know, I was running track, I was doing things all the time, going, 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 and I started having symptoms and it's not a result of being lazy at all or deconditioning. While the cause of POTS is still not known, it's thought to be of sometimes the result of a viral infection or from having a secondary, it's a secondary condition from having another health issue. Um, but it's not known, but it is most certainly, there, there's no correlation between orthostatic intolerance and laziness and deconditioning. That's a very important one to remember. So for more information on all things POTS, visit dinet.org and don't forget to check out, there are two videos up here on our YouTube channel that go over the ins and outs of POTS, including causes and symptoms. So thank you so much for watching.